Who is the best big man of all time? It's an important question, and one that myself and Mr. Pale decided to find the answer to. We took six of the best big men from all across the different eras of WWE and had them face off in the biggest gimmick match of all time, the Elimination Chamber. Come and join us for some wrestling trivia, some facts, some gossip predictions and all the rest, and a good match too. Okay, and for tonight's dream match, uh, we're going to be doing the Battle of the Big Men, aren't we, Mr. Pale? Um, from all the eras yes. that WWE 2K14 kind of covers, we're going to pick our, a, a selection of of big men um, from 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 across the years, um, and we're going to justify um, our choices. I, for my first choice, um, will be going with. Um, I'm going to go for um, an early. Um, uh, big man, which is King Kong um, Bundy. I don't play him very much. I, don't, I was never a massive fan, but he he he, he main evented a WrestleMania, which is one of the, it's, it's one of those main eventers, and perhaps a bit like um, the Miz and a few others that you kind of forget actually did main event um, a, a, a WrestleMania. It was WrestleMania two, and for that reason, he is my pick, Mr. Pale. I'm gonna go straight the opposite direction to so the, the 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 later stuff. I'm gonna go with Mark Henry. Um, obviously, he was reigning world heavyweight champion. Um, he had a really successful heel run. Um, put lots of people in the hall of, of pain. And uh, and I I this the only so time we've been entertained. New, gen <laughs> new generation Mark Henry, or we're we going the modern Mark Henry. We're going with the new new, new the guy, new. The, the the latest. Well, well for the new, new generation, Mark. then I'm going to stick in um, Yokozuna, um, world champion for about three quarters of a year, I think. Eventually, uh, two WrestleMania main events ish. Um, and uh, and and for a while was kind of the the, the scourge of the WWE. Um, for an, another modern pick, I think you wanted to have Big Show in, didn't you? Yeah, you got. I mean, he's been in. He's been around forever. <laughs> and when people talk about big guys, you got you got to stick him in there. Would you like the the retro I mean, one, he's, he's... the the modern one, or the NWO one? Uh... Modern. With, a, with his little beanie. His little beanie. We do like we do we do like his little, his, little, his little beanie. I think he is also impressed with the Big Show that he's at, you know he said he's lasted so long, but often big men don't you know because of all the pressure on their knees and you know their bodies they tend to break down physically a lot quicker than others. Plus, plus storyline wise, I always find with a lot of people, and I think Yoko had this as well, is that when they normally become you know they're, they're invincible, the big men, no one can hurt them, and then eventually when they do lose. Then that's kind of they've they've lost the yeah, mystique of being horrible. unbeatable, I mean, and, and and then and then everyone beats them. I'm <laughs> going to bring in um, well. Retro Kane um, from the Attitude Era, um, not modern Kane, Retro Kane, just because he was huge, he was blooming scary. He might have worn little extensions on his feet to make himself look even taller, um, but I, I was he was one of the few wrestlers that actually made me, made me kind of go, I'm a little bit uncomfortable. I wouldn't want to meet this guy. You know what I mean? Um, so the the last choice is yours. <laughs> Um, well, we have to go. If we're yes. talking giants, Andre the Giant, the the probably the most legendary giant of them all, <laughs> and we'll uh, go with his uh, WrestleMania three <laughs> attire because I think that's a little bit more famous, um, even if it wasn't what he actually wore for most of his career. Okay. The session is beginning in five seconds. This is our battle of the big men. We're doing an elimination chamber, and obviously we'll be providing you with wrestling trivia um, throughout the match. Um, we, well, I assume are we are we starting randoms? I don't know. It didn't actually give us an option. We'll have to see if we pop up first. But who do you think, if this match actually happened, you know, le leaving booking aside, who, who's the best big man here? Uh, that's an interesting question. Thank you. That's why I I asked it. that's why we are the gur the gurus of I wrestling. Know. Oh, and, it, and it's us. We get to kick this one off, which means we're going to be struggling oh, well, to keep cool. going here. I I would have to give this one to the Big Show. I think for for all his years and he's been around, and I think he's got a good repertoire. I, of moves I was thinking Big Show probably has been... the biggest move set here. Um, yeah, I mean, it may be you know because of the era that in which he's exist in which he's wrestled, he's had to kind of reinvent himself more. Although he's one of those wrestlers that doesn't necessarily seem to have a large move set at any one time. But if you think back over the years, he does occasionally add in various moves and take out various moves. If you know what I mean, he has, yeah. he's, and he's definitely evolved more over the years. I mean, Mark Henry's changed gimmicks a few times. Oh, I suppose Kane, of course, uh, is a big gimmick changer. Yeah, he he changes every day of the week, nearly. <laughs> so yeah, he, he loves a good change. But most of them keep the same. He, he's, moves, he's always a monster. He's always adding the big red, yeah. whatever they call him. Oh dear! No, no, no! no. It's, 
is your first move of the match. No! Someone's going to get pancaked. <laughs> and that's where the big men come into their own. All right, here comes Yoko. See, I, I Yoko, I, mean, I think Yoko's at a disadvantage here, which is unfair, because the devious Mr. Fuji has not made it um, through uh, cut through um, immigration. Uh, <laughs> no, he got held up. He had a suspicious look of salt. Package, of salt. So to speak. <laughs> of salt. And he had no way of proving it was salt. So they, the, the customs people. The custom people will see the yeah. rest and uh, arrest him. And it's going to be quite a while before they put uh, some of that uh, uh, on chips and go, yeah, what's we'll up, Um <laughs> Sorry. Or they might accidentally throw it in one of their faces. No, I can't see. Oh, it's salt. Oh, okay. Maybe. I think big men, though, also have in recent years, and it's probably deserved, not had the world's greatest kind of reputation because. When, I, when you were a kid and you weren't so bothered about things as match quality, the, the fact that a guy was huge, you'd have this, oh my god, no one can beat them factor just because they were so big. But then I think as the wrestling landscape has changed and we've become it's probably a more demanding audience to an extent, actually the sight of a huge guy like King Kong Bundy kind of waddling around wrestling very, very slowly, or you know, people like Giant Haystacks and stuff from the British stuff, it just doesn't really cut it anymore yeah. in terms of the... Uh, um, the entertainment value, but but when I was a, when I was a kid, I I was a fan of the big man. Oh yeah, I, I used to think things like Hercules. Remember him? Well, was, ah, how could anyone well, beat Hercules? Could, like, and then someone chain. beat him. Exactly, he had a giant chain, <laughs> and he did a, a full Nelson. So how, how are you going to no get one gets that? Out of the full Nelson. Of his... um, but yeah, now now since audiences have discovered oh, the boring chant. We... Oh, Ooh. there you go. We're back. We're back. Uh, yeah, since since people have discovered the boring chant, uh, the big guys do get it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so because obviously they've got to take their time. And, get and uh, we've got a few network issues here, but so, so there only are a few big men that really cut the mustard in terms of surviving. But and then it's only kind of men like the Undertaker, I would say, that not only survive, actually are still able to have, you know, let's say five star matches. Because because people like Kane, although they've survived a long time. He has had good matches, but he isn't, you know, in the same, I, I would say, kind of plot league, league. of wrestling as, as many yeah. others. Um, not not just in the upper top, but he's he's kind of more. I think I'd, I'd call him a good hand. He'll ha he'll have a safe match with most people. Um, yeah, he'll he'll he'll, he'll go out there and do what he needs to do. But um, he he he's more consistent than that. Say Mark Henry. Mark Henry can go out there, especially like lately, and. Um, he can have a really good match, and then the next week he can have the most boring match on the face of the yeah. planet. So then everyone sleep. So it, it, it all depends on. He, he normally rises to the occasion, Mark Henry. Apart from the whole right back match, that was confusing. Um, <laughs> apart from that, King Kong Bundy versus uh, the Big eight. Show. Oh, bald versus bald versus bald. So important, Went important question, Andre, of course. That's um, what we want to see. Big say. Show. Fat sack, or the big nasty bastard T-shirt, or the combats, or the beanie, or the little bit too naked slinky thing that you used to wear in, w in WCW. I mean, wh which of the many big show incarnations? I I like the big nasty T-shirt with the I short haircut. Like, yeah, like he looks he looked cool. Now, but the, the whole singlet thing oh, that yeah. was terrible. You um, just don't want to see. <laughs> no, I mean, because I know wrestlers wear pants, but for some reason, when they wear when they wear singlets, it makes the pants look even smaller, and you just feel like you're looking at a guy that's still a bit too naked. Do you know what I mean? Like they look, they look like yes. they wear more when they just wear a pair of pants, which doesn't make any sense, but it does make sense. Uh, unless they're wearing a pair of pants with a t-shirt. Oh, that was Austin they, used to do that. Literally, looked like he would throw on his trousers or. <laughs> just wearing a t-shirt. Yeah, just wearing a t-shirt, yeah. Wearing a t -shirt, I just yeah. Like badasses don't run around just wearing their t-shirts. That's what... <laughs> I've got no other way on. <laughs> don't trust anybody, they'll steal your clothes. <laughs> oh, Mark Henry drops a big it. splash on Yokozuna. He's obviously you know, done. He's been in for a long time now. Oh, no, Kane, Kane's now kicking. They've gone for a cover on Yoko. Move. Off your big splash. One, oh. Yeah, I think that's more or less the only move. Oh, is it? He's just slung me on the outside. I might see if I can sling him into the into the pod. I probably, I probably should have asked this before the, picking the, him, but does any, anyone know what Bundy's move set is? Um, big splash in the corner. Like the he's got the avalanche in the corner. Yeah, he's got the big, big, big splash in the corner. And I think he likes to do the odd body. Oh, there we go. I've got a signature. Uh, let's see what my, I get. Oh, it's it's Monster not a powerbomb. it's not a front move. Let's take him in the corner. Oh, there you go, it's in the corner. Oh, no, you reversed it. No! Oh, yeah. He's lost control. 
Are you going to gain it? There we go. Big yep, avalanche. Yoko's down. Yoko's down. Go for the finisher. Oh, and a huge splash from Bundy. One, two, and... He kicked out. Yokozuna kicks out. Of course, a lot of these... It's also interesting, actually, that um, a lot of the old big men, their finishers were dropping their weight on their opposition. So, Bundy, it's the big splash. Uh... Andres was, Andre, was yeah, an elbow drop. drop. Yokozuna is the bonzo drop. But actually, these days, um, poss with the possible exception of Mark Henry, it, it, it isn't that, is it? They they tend to do kind of more power-based slamming moves. Um, yeah, pick, pick pick them up and slam them. So you got Mark Henry as well, well strongest slam, big show. Apart from his knockout punch, he's got the uh, the choke yeah. slam. But either way, um, even, either way with big show, it's not a, a, a splash or a top rope elbow or, or any kind of. You know, weight-related move, which is which is surprising. Really. I mean, I, I don't know if it's a safety issue, you know, for the uh, for the for the wrestlers involved. I don't know if, they, if it's something like that, but it it seems a bit of a waste, really, because it's like, well, if you've got if you've got a really really big, really really big guy, it seems a kind of case, well, you know, almost like a, 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 a you know, like a like something you don't even have to think about. Well, clearly, his finishes should involve dropping himself on his back. Yeah, because he's so big. There's, there's, when Mark Henry does his little splash, it's just like out <laughs> straight away. So um, yeah, I, I have to agree with you there. I, I, I do like seeing a big man. I mean, I, I always wondered why when I was naive <laughs> and young, un, uh, under ten, that um, why the big men just all didn't do giant big splashes and from the top rope. Because surely that would just two. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Even a throw. Yokozuna is really resilient. To the splashes from the top rope. Oh my god, that would hurt. Yeah. I mean, did, did this never cross your mind when you were younger? When <laughs> did you think, why doesn't the you know Yokozuna do do a big splash from the top rope? <laughs> why, why not? That would no one ever get up on. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose so. I think my my question was always when, when when I when I was young is that why was there only ever one move that finished people off and why did people not nick each other special moves like why did no one ever kind of watch an Undertaker match and go hey that tombstone looks like a really good move and then just use it. <laughs> Good, good, good point. Because you would, wouldn't <laughs> that, you? Because like, like, it's a bit like a football. Because like, like you know, any other sport, people watch each other play and go, "Oh my god, that's amazing! I'm going to use that." Except in wrestling, everyone's like, "Hang on, gimmick, infringing. You know, can't possibly use that manoeuvre." Hey, did you did you use my move in the background? <laughs> yeah, can yeah, yeah, you know, Pele versus David Beckham. You know, and he's got a dream match. They're going, "Hey, did you just get a free kick in the goal?" No, 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 I didn't. No, no, that's your thing, David. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Did you just I'm flick sorry. the ball up with your legs? No. Did you just score? <laughs> did you just knock the ball in the goal with your hand? Oh, I'm sorry, Maradona. <laughs> well, the very first person to figure out how to do like a, a lob pass. Did you just <laughs> kick the ball over the player? And, and to oh, your team, mate. I just got squished. I don't know if that was a signature, but it hurt. No one. Has anyone gone out? Hang we out. Oh, We're yeah. down one. Ah! To the weird rock bottom variation. Yeah, we have lost one. I, I, I've missed someone being eliminated. We've we lost, lost Andre. Andre. Oh my God. My, my favourite. Yeah, because <laughs> just oh. slamming me, slamming just, me repeatedly. Uh, I think I very much upset him by hitting a finisher, and he is, he's just killing me. I can't counter this. Big Show's just knocked out Kane. Oh, no, he didn't. He Ow. I've let, this is like the fifth move I've taken in a row. Oh, my God. Your consumer's just on fire. Please, count us. I can't have done it again. Ow. Help me. <laughs> Help me. You are actually getting the line. I can't understand. being destroyed here, well. and I don't think he's going to. I don't know if it's a bug or what. He's still doing it. Ow! <laughs> Straight down <laughs> that's the right. Now he's just channeling the spirit of Cain. Please count as something. Oh, big slam. I'm just. Oh, now he's going for the pin. I think you might get. Oh, no, no, no. No! Oh. Uh, uh. Thank you. You, you play I'm with him help. for a bit because he's gone crazy on me. I'm going to eliminate him. There you go. Come on. Ow! Yeah, like, I've just turned into a cane. I did! I did! The cane has just turned into me with a signature. Um, he eliminated Big Show with a master lock. Yeah. Did he? Blood. I, I told you. <laughs> Three. All else. Let's get him in the corner. Let's get him in the corner. Bundy splash. Bundy splash. Bundy splash. Bundy splash. Bundy splash. You can't see Mark Henry. Ah, he's not. You can't actually do the splash from further off. You have to. You have to do it. <laughs> they won't run him right next to them. Makes it very the world's smallest splash. Come on, and three. Kane's gone. But it works. Oh, <laughs> nasty, nasty, nasty man. Ow! 
Ow. And Is that it? That, that's your that's your big finish. It's got to be it. Yeah, that's got to be my big finish. I just did my. my oh, <laughs> oh you've ruined. I've ruined, ruined the moment. I've ru the moment is gone. Ow! Oh, that's a nice big man move. Coconut Crusher. That's very like um, Andre the Giant, Jar Jar, Giant Barbar. Almost a Jar Jar, Jar Jar Binks there. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't a big man. Binks. Oh, they should stick him in with it. I, that, I paid to watch Jar Jar Binks get squished. Okay. Fro you were saying it. That you were saying they should do it. So here we are. Okay. Queen Kong Bundy. Okay. From the top. From the biggest <laughs> elbow drop in the world. One. Two. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you sidestepped the biggest chop in the planet. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Ow! So what do you get using all these, te these technical yeah, moves, Mark Cannon? I did just punch him in the face. Yeah, that was, that wasn't great. Yeah. But then neither, ne oh, yeah. neither was my eyes. Eyric. Oh, your head's red. Oh. And now it's even more there. Oh, damn. I oh, he's coming back. He's battling back. Who would be the face here? If I, if the other thing I'd say about big men that we haven't mentioned is that big men are nearly, for obvious reasons I guess, nearly always heels. Um, it's nearly always the valiant yeah. face against the big, nasty, whatever. Um, in fact, were they? Andre the, maybe being the except, possible exception to that rule? Andre Bounce? Yeah, I think Andre started as a face, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, was, he, was, he was a face for most of his career. Mm, so I think that he's the exception. Because most other people, you just... Just keep that. Well, you're in the game. Ah! So. Ah! Ah, no! So strong! So big! So strong! Ah, Squeeze! <laughs> well done. So the biggest, the bestest big man of all time is... Mr. Bay. Oh, I mean, yes. Mark Henry. <laughs> Mark, Mark Henry, indeed. All right, guys, we do hope you've enjoyed enjoying us for a, uh, a classic match and a dream match today. If you have enjoyed it, then please, of course, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. A massive thank you to Mr. Pale for joining us today. My and pleasure. Uh, we will see you next week for the Gurus of Wrestling.